Alright. Let's just get my stream here. So, we will be playing the Resident Evil 8 or Resident Evil Village demo. Um, this just came out today. Um, this is uh, exclusive to the uh, PlayStation 5 right now. So, fortunately enough, I'm able to show this to you guys. Um, of course, I like Resident Evil a lot, so let's just dive right into this. So I played, um, I did play uh, Resident Evil 7. So I did play Resident Evil 7. Um, so I am familiar. Uh, I played through that whole game in all the DLC, so I, I am familiar with how that game is. Um, and this is just a continuation of it. It still stars Ethan and Mia, I believe. So that's all going to be the same there. Um, let me just get my stream thing up here. Um, let me pull it up on my tablet. Okay, cool. Get it, get it up there. All right, sick. Um, so let's do voice language. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, ego, e ego, 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 Uh, voice language. I don't really have a choice. I didn't even enable subtitles. Uh, Hold on, let me go back. <laughs> that was an accident. Whoops. It's okay, it's PS5, which means you can just close shit out and turn it back on. Shit just goes crazy. Whoa. Okay. Um, let's give some controller settings. Pause, obviously, examine items, select, return, cancel. Um, crouch, stand, run, quick turn. All right, yeah, same shit. Um, camera inversion, no, camera wobble, gonna turn that off. Movement, acceleration, uh, gonna go with no. No, like, weird effects that, like, fuck with my eyes, <laughs> please. Um, uh, that's usually how I prefer it. Um, damage display, normal, okay. Graphics, there are no graphic options. Hopefully that there, there are some in the main release. Um... Let's see, dynamic range, I don't know, uh, headphones, yeah, that's what I'm doing. Uh, subtitles on, can't even change the voice language, play data, share play data, no. Alright, copyright, of course, you gotta look at the copyright, no, I'm just, I'm just fucking with you, alright, that's actually a little, okay. Okay, let's dive right into this, um, whoa, going, going, going right into it. Escape the dungeon. Okay. Um, give me a moment because I'm just going to check the audio. Should be okay, honestly. I mean, this is what... There's probably going to be talking. There's probably going to be talking. Yeah. All right, let me just... Um, I'll just I'll just have it at like a like a normal audio level, and then if shit gets too loud, I'll change it. If not, it's whatever. All right, so Resident Evil Eight, let's do this. So, of course, it's gonna be another. Uh, of course, it's gonna be another. Um, another first person game. So that's kind of where we're at with this one. Crouch stand. Okay, can I hit shit? No. That's your quick turn, interact, all right. Scrap of paper, yes, okay. That's my toilet, that sucks. Do I have a bed? Yeah, I guess, I guess that's a bed, it kind of looks like shit. Hey, what, what is that? I remember, um, Resident Evil 8, or I mean 7, sorry, 7. Um, had a really, uh, had a very, um, gross looking game, which is good because, you know, it's, it's something to, you know, freak you out. Definitely a stark contrast from Resident Evil 6, which was just like, well, you know, I don't have to talk to you about how Resident Evil 6 was. <laughs> um, key, looking for like a key to get out of here. Is it in the toilet? Wouldn't, wouldn't that suck? Um, oh, wait. No? It's probably somewhere I need to crouch to get... Oh, hey, there we go. Let 
All right. Oh, that's fucking disgusting, bro. You want to flush or no? I just saw the game kind of cut out signal real quick. I don't know. I mean, the Elgato seems to be fine. It's just sometimes there's like some weird glitches with it. I guess that's okay. I mean, it's not just whatever. It's not the most annoying thing. I got I got a little scared just now. <laughs> Scrap of paper. I hear some noises. I don't know if that's me. Help me, brother. Help me, brother! Oh, sh- I, I, Like, I didn't- I didn't know- <laughs> I didn't notice the dead body right in front of my face, but I noticed, like, the text first. Well, that's bad. That doesn't seem to be the most pleasant thing. One could also say that kind of sucks ass. Oh, God. I... Yeah, I got a little freaked out. <laughs> I got a little freaked out. Good. Honestly, anything that freaks me out is good, because... You just think about Resident Evil 6, and you're just like, man, I'm gonna, I, look, I'm gonna hate on Resident Evil 6. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's an, it's an okay action game. It's an okay action game. It's a, definitely not a great action game, but it's fine for what it is. Nope, I don't like that sound. Let's get the hell out of here. So far, graphics on this, it, it's pretty good. I don't know if it's like... Well, actually, I, I do need to put my expectations in line because this is also a PS4 game. This is not a PS5 or, like, next-gen exclusive game. It's just, it's on the PS5. Um, okay. Well, that's something. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, can't use that here. Well, no shit. Hey, next time you need to open something with a lock, just use a scrap of paper. Okay, let's see if I can find something. Uh, oh, there we go. Oh, here we go. Bolt cutters. We're gonna need those. Yikes. Is that the same bitch I saw from over there? Oh! oh, shit. That's not desirable. I wouldn't call that particularly desirable. That's just, you know, just my personal opinion. Not a fan of that one. Okay, let's open that. Uh, examine. Oh, I was li Okay, who the fuck would like- Who the fuck would be like, hey, you see this, like, old, decaying, like, like, fucking bucket of blood? Just, just, uh, just put your hand in there. Yeah, I hope you don't have any fucking cuts, you're gonna get, like, AIDS, bro. Or no, it's HIV. HIV from the- Well, no, I think it's both, both of them. Well, the Aegis is like a up. It's like HIV part two. I should really do my re. Oh shit. Okay, no, she was not like that. She was not like that. She she was not like that. All right, get me the fuck out of here. <sighs> what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck's going on? Just fucking... Please don't let me scream. Please don't let me scream. What the fuck is the point of that? Well, I need to get the hell out of here. This is about the time where I need to leave. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Don't even look back. Don't even look back. Okay, I looked back. That was bad. Close the door. Close the door. Or not. Oh, 
I would close the door. If I just heard some fucking, like, death zombie shit, I would not be involved with that. I would not want to be involved with that, unfortunately. Nah, man, it's chill. No, it's not chill. It's it's incredibly not chill. What's up? What's up, Ben? How you been? It's been a little while. Oh, that's a hand, and it's moving. Don't want to be involved with that one. Chilling. That's good. How's Soul Calibur? Still good, or I don't know. I I, I followed a lot of people from the community uh, on on Twitter, and every time I see someone posting about the game, they're just complaining. But like, it reminds me, I guess, a lot of uh, of St Street Fighter Five in, in some sense. But like, I don't know. It's just a little jarring because you go to Virtual Fighter and everybody's just having a jolly time. Twitter's awful. Yeah, we we, we pretty much need to dismiss Twitter from real life. Like, Twitter is not real life. It's not, I don't know. There was, there was some drama going on though. Like, I don't know what the hell like happened, but I was reading on Twitter some dude, I don't know who it was, was like, oh, um, people, I don't, I don't know who, the, who, it was like, a, it was glacial, I think. He was like, some of y'all, some of the people in the SC6 community are, are like part of the Capitol riot or something. And I'm like, what in the hell does that have to do with anything? Like, they weren't- they weren't saying somebody was, they were just like, some of y'all were like, the type to do so, and I'm like, where is this coming from? What is going on? That's a long story. I don't know if it's worth telling. And it's some bullshit. Why does it have to be a, a Geralt player? Of course it does. Makes me look like I left for some shady shit. Oh wow, what, what, what am I doing? Maybe I gotta break this shit or something? It's some bullshit? Oh man. It always is, huh? Maybe I push this brick in? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks like a puzzle. Never heard of the dude before he made that. I, I He was in the, the Geralt Discord, that's why. Like, that's where I knew him from, because I recognized the username. He's like a mod in there or something. It's always the mods. The mods are always the freaks. Anyway, let me read this. First day of working at the castle today. Uh, this is 1958. I was most shocked to see masters of the house were all women. Mistress and her daughters were very adamant they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle. I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. Dude, I would just fucking dip. I would just dip. July 8th. I don't know what to do. The young ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it, shut it now. They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down in the cellar never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. Um, damn, Geralt mods wildin'. Uh, but yeah, TLDR, Signia had a bad reaction to the FGCOC. Oh, the the con the code of conduct thing. So people were bagging on Caliber because of it. Signia has some opinions. <laughs> Signia has definitely some opinions from what I was uh, seeing of him. He, ma he made some good videos. Like I took notes on like his neutral and whiff punishment guide. Um, so he, he's very smart as a player, but like, obviously sometimes people just like what I, what I've understood with Twitter and what I, what I need to understand, you know, you pr just basically never get involved with any of that shit is people just go on that website to fight. Like they don't, they don't like, that's the number one reason why people go on that website is just to fucking fight people. Like just, Oh, I don't like you. I don't like this. You know, here's my, here's my like opinion and anybody else who doesn't think so is a fucking asshole and like of course people are gonna reply with different opinions because it's the internet I don't know everything caliber related he's pretty genius but everything else not so much it makes sense I know that code of conduct thing you know people had some good points about it in that like oh you know who's who's gonna enforce this right but it, it you know, I don't, I don't know, maybe it's just like a rough draft, right? Like, it could be something that, hey, maybe if we work towards this together, 
right? Like we could improve upon this. You know, I don't know if anybody was saying like, hey, this is definitive. Like you have to follow this. Like it's, you know, something open to criticism. Um, at least I hope people, oh, that was a person. Let's crouch. <laughs> Let's crouch down. Let's crouch down. That was my biggest pet peeve. Okay. Motherfuckers acting like this is some hard-ass law. Yeah, no, no, I don't think anybody involved was saying like, oh, hey, this needs to be like, this needs to be like a unanimous, like, this is, this is how it is now. Like, you have, this is a, this is like a, this is a FGC law, you have to abide by this. Most of what I read in it was like, just normal behavior. Like, hey, don't be a dickhead. Like, don't, don't, don't like touch people who don't want to be touched. Don't like... You know, don't be a headass online. Don't, like, berate people. You know, respect people's boundaries. Just, like, stuff that people should know, but obviously, like, a lot of antisocial gamers might just be like, Oh, you know, I'll go out and I'll, I'll talk to the girls at the Smash tournament and be like, huh, you, Do you come here often? Do you play? Oh, it's okay. You know, um, I, I, I usually play. Let me, let me show you some moves. Uh, you know, you could do like a side B and shit. Like, just some fucking, like, just some dumb shit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna peek at my surroundings and make sure I'm not gonna die. But then again, shit will spawn. No one has to use it, yeah. Yeah, it's for like TOs and shit, you know, kind of like... That could be something that like, hey, you know, my tournament is going to be based around, it's going to follow the, the FGC code of conduct, the, the, the one that was kind of like, uh, peer reviewed and stuff. And it's good. <laughs> well, laughing. There is laughing. I'm going to turn the game up just a little bit, just so like the loud moments are more loud, even louder. I am, I'm just, I'm literally just crouching. Like I haven't even been walking. Maybe I should walk. Reminds me of the Spencer Mansion, kind of. This actually reminds me of the, the house in Resident Evil 7. Whatever, like, the fucking creepy-ass, like, hillbilly house was. Uh, oh, a lot of rejects. Lois. Uh, Lois, do we have any Tylenol? Uh, do I want to go in there? I'm not sure. Uh, let's see. But I mean, in other, in other, like, stuff that's not super, like, we don't have to get too into, like, drama and stuff. I hope, like, the tournaments have been going well. Um, I've been basically purely focusing on Virtua Fighter and pretty enthralled with it. So I haven't really been, um... I haven't really been playing. I haven't pl I, honestly. I haven't played Soul Calibur since around the time I dropped it, which was like, uh, well, I mean, not drop like I'm not fully dropping. I think I, I stopped playing it around like September or something. I don't remember when I started with Virtua Fighter. Lots of people liking the new updates. That's good. Has there been any things since? Um, I don't think they'll work here, yo. Has there been anything major since Huang or no? Cause I have I haven't even played Huang. I, I I like I like stopped playing the game before Huang released. I think I, I like it was a few it was like a month or two after Setsuka came out is when I stopped. Huang is the latest update. Did they did they do something to Astroth? Cause last I checked they buffed him, right? They they did something where like he get he can like he can like RE, not RE cancel, or no, he can like grab, he can recover from his RE or something. Okay, I guess I have to find a key to go through one of those doors. Wait, no, I don't have the lock pick on me anymore. Oh wait, have I gone through this door? Nope. Throw breaks plus six for opponent and they move you farther away. Wait, throw breaks for the opponent? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So, so if Astroth does a throw, they're they're plus six. Was it like that before? No way, it was like that before. What was it? What was it? 
before that. That seems like a pretty weird change. It used to be plus eight. Oh, so it got better for him. Wait, but it got better, but it messed with like meaties or something? Basically, okay, that, that makes sense. So basically they have to kind of change their options around. I mean, it seems like overall that would be a buff though. Anything that gives you more frame advantage is usually good. Uh, oh, there is a key in here. Or there's a ring. I guess a ring is is good enough, right? Okay, I can't use that here. Can I go through the fucking, like, window? Can I just jump through it or something? No. That's locked. Maybe, like, one of these drawers. Has no options to stop you from backstab after throw break. Literally nothing. Really? But I thought- wait a minute, but he's- He's more plus- or no, no, he has two extra frames to work with. How would he have less options? Cause it's Asta? Well, I mean, that's- that's the- that's the meme answer. Cause his- his moves are sl Oh! That makes sense. So by the time- Uh, do you hear that? Because I hear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Okay. Did she hear me? Like, did she not fucking see me walk through? Okay, it might be worth uh, getting the fuck out of here. Okay, well, I, I, I understand. Okay. So for, for future reference, I just want to let you know a little thing that I've learned about Virtual Fighter. Anybody who says the game ha is like some coveted neutral, you know, like literally the the most um the most like the just pure pure neutral needs to like have a wake up call because they aren't remembering it right. That game is literally like who is more aggressive? <laughs> Just like most fighting games, but um, it's it's definitely a much more aggressive game. Okay, so I'm not really sure what I'm doing here. Maybe the necklace does something. No. Well, so there it looked like it triggered something over here. So I guess I'll I guess there has to be something over here. Oh oh, here we go. No, something under it. No. You okay? It's- it's still- cause the thing is the mechanics of the game, so it's still like... Maybe I gotta go back upstairs, actually, now that I think about it. Um, it's still like a game where- where, uh... Um... It- there's no, like, meter or anything, right? Like, you- there- there's no, like, comeback factor. The on, the only comeback factor has to do with, like, you know, combos and, like... You know, being able to convert off of, like, counter hits. The game is actually very, very skill-based. Like, this is not a game where you can just, like, out-random somebody, I believe. Like, you can maybe get away with it for a round, but you're not gonna win, like, the fight. There's just no way you're gonna win the fight. So, in, in that sense, it's actually one of the most, like, fair fighting games I've played. But it's it's definitely it's it's not easy. It's not an easy game. Like this game, there is so much shit you need to learn. Just to even play the game at a basic level, you need to like get really good with the movement. Because if you're not good with the movement, you're just gonna like lose. Especially because um in Virtual Fighter they have something called failed evades and like successful evades. So just sidestepping something in the game does not actually mean you'll sidestep a vertical attack. Um, wait, is this good? I thought this is where I came from. I don't think there were any locked doors or anything that had like a key that I could go towards. Kind of curious. Oh, oh. Maroon eye ring. Here we go. What do you mean? What do you mean I can't use that? Use this as is? 
Oh, I see. Wait a minute. Where's my, like, items? So maybe I can, like, yeah, you take that out, and then, okay, now I understand. So just, ev just evading... Just evading a move doesn't mean you'll actually evade it. You need to time the evasion. It's actually pretty hard. And there's lots of f the the game the game's movement is completely based around fuzzies. Like you have to learn how to fuzzy like uh do fuzzy guard. Cuz if you don't, you'll just lose. Okay, there's the key. Sidestep and still get hit by a vert sounds like caliber. Yeah, but at least with caliber if you just hold up you won't technically get hit by a vertical Technically you shouldn't by most in the game obviously there's some situations if you're close enough the hitbox might still hit you But I'm just talking about like the movement is much The movement is much more um, Restrictive if you're if you don't if you aren't as familiar with it I think Virtual Fighter in that regard is is much more re restrictive for a newcomer. It's not as easy. It's not like eight way run. It's not like you'll just fucking like walk around and just you know be able to move with grace. Like it's something where you have to practice being able to like snake away, or you know do like a like a ECD, which is the evade crouch death. What? Did you hear that? She's like, I'm watching you. Well, if you're watching me, then I guess I don't need to crouch. <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> I'm watching you. I won't last until dinner. Uh... Okay, I'm sorry, you know. <laughs> ah! Ah! No! <laughs> oh, shit! Did I die already? How's it feel? It fucking sucks! It fucking sucks. Give me away. Wait, she just bit me. Am I like a zombie now? Oh, no, not that. Tech the throw. I couldn't tech the throw. I, I got plot deviced. Oh! So we finally meet. Oh shit. <laughs> oh god, she's Freddy. Wait, am I dead? Hold on, is that the- Wait, what? That was the game? That was the demo? The demo was literally like six- It was not- Wait, how long did I play this demo for? Barely 30 minutes and I was like messing around. If I knew what to do, you could probably get through this demo in less than 10 minutes. Or less. What the hell was that? I thought there was going to be stuff afterwards. Thanks for playing our visual showcase. Thanks for fucking di like killing me. Now I got just spoilers. Was that the final boss? No way. Dude, I can't even believe that. They don't even call it a demo. Yeah, they don't. What do they call this? Maiden. What the hell is this called in, like, the actual thing? Visual demo. They call it a visual demo because they know it's short as hell. What the hell? Actually, when is Neo coming out? I want to play that shit. Or is it already out? Oh. Oh, no. It, it's coming out the fourth. That's going to be a good-ass good shit, bro. Well, anyway. um, Wow. What the fuck? <laughs> uh... Okay. I didn't- I didn't think that that would be that short. I thought, like, for sure it would be something that... I was, like, totally like, oh, this is gonna be, like, a two-hour demo, maybe? Because you see what, like, like, Square Enix does for their games? They do, like, they do, like, the first, like, chapter or something in the game. I mean, ooh, gonna play games. But yeah, this demo whack. So it's, it's a little whack. It's a little whack. All right. Well, it's good to have you drop by, Ben. I'll probably join a Wednesday Night Fights randomly sometime in the future. You'll probably see that. So I can't, I'm not gonna say when, but you'll you'll see it. <laughs>
Have fun with VF and other things. Thank you so much. Have fun with being a TO. Peace. Miss you. I'll, I, when, once, once the in-person stuff comes back, I'll, I'll definitely be rolling around for that stuff. Just right now, online just isn't cutting it. <laughs> it's really, really difficult. But yeah, um, yeah, you have definitely take care. Parsec helps. Yeah, it helps, but there's just, you know, there's a, there's a social factor to it that I think is just impossible to, uh, impossible to recapture. All right. I guess since I'm already on PS5, I guess I'll just hop into Persona because that was something I've been putting off for a little bit. You missed it? Okay, actually, actually, Os Oscar, you want me to replay it? Because it was li it was so short. I'll replay it. I'll replay it just for you. It was- it, dude, it took me like- I was messing around and it took me like- why, I, I'm not even gonna count the first five minutes of my stream, it was just me doing like technical stuff, so like 25 minutes. Oh yeah. Wait, wait, I think I need something from here, right? No. This is a fucking sc scribbled piece of paper. So yeah, you just go down here. That's so funny that this was so short. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm actually like, I'm laughing. That's fine though. I mean, it is pretty cool, I guess. I don't know. I mean, it's free too. So it's, it's only, there's only so much you can complain about. I think there are certain demos where you can complain about, like the Sonic Forces demo. That was truly awful. Medicines for keeping livestock. I think I missed this room when I played. Can I go back here? No. There's probably some secrets in this demo too, I would imagine. I'm like fairly certain this isn't everything. Like you could probably get unlock like a secret room if you get something and know what to do with it, I guess. I don't know. All right. Help me, brother. I, I liked how then I missed the missed the lady from earlier. Okay, that lady definitely moved because she was not like that. Uh, where was the bolt cutter lady? What was wasn't this her? No, it was a different lady. There was there was another dead lady. I think. It's not that. That's the one I just came from. There was a dead lady that I got the bolt cutters off of. I thought it was here. I thought it was like one of the ones up here. Huh. Oh shit. Oh! So she fell down there. That's how. It's only when you interact with that. Okay. Ah! <laughs> Clickety clack. Then you gotta fucking put your hand in this. <laughs> the AIDS water. Okay, there has to be something you can get in here. This can't just be like a room for nothing. Or maybe it is. Yep, there's some fucking zombie... Zombie monster thing chasing us. Okay. Lol. This looks pretty cool though. 
it is kind of low texture, <laughs> low quality texture, but I mean, it is what it is, right? Like from far away, it looks fine. I don't, I don't know, because this game is still coming out on PS4. So like, there, there is going to be some type of like, you know, hold, hold back for, or like a uh, limitations on what they can do. It, it's not going to be like a Demon Souls type thing. First person? Yeah. Have you, pl have you seen Resident Evil 7? Also, what's up, Spellbound? Fucking person. Scary. There's a person's hand in here. You can't really touch it, though. I think. Move your hand. Okay. Don's Macabre. Cool. This stinks so bad. What is it? Kind of looks like, uh... Looks like cranberries, bro. Wasn't there something else over here that I could pull out or something? I don't remember. Okay. Well, nothing to see here. I guess. I thought there was a drawer you can pull out, but maybe I was mistaken. Okay, I don't I don't know why I thought that that uh I don't know why I thought that chair wasn't uh wasn't there before. Um there's something I think there was something you crawl through. Uh It's pretty sure you that's what you do. Was it back here? I literally just played this demo and I'm already like what the fuck was I doing? Yeah, no, Resident Evil, Se Resident Evil 8 is not the first one to do this. Resident Evil 7 was completely in first person. It, it was kind of weird because it came out in like 2017, which was like... 2017, which was like during the like Outlast sort of thing. Oh, it was here. It was here. Yep. Is that the symbol from RE4 on the door? Let me see. Which door? This one? I don't think so. Then again, it's not like I'd remember some specific symbol from RE4. Oh yeah! I just, I just realized, Oscar, you can't even play this demo because it's on PS5 only. Which is fucking stupid. Because of course they pull that bullshit. It is good that the game's running at 60 FPS, though. I'll, I'll, I'll give it credit for that. Because I don't think the game would run at uh, 60 on PS5. Or even 4, sorry. I already read this before, but I'll read it again. First day working at the castle, I was shocked to see all the masters of the house were women. The mistress and her daughters were very adamant that they wouldn't bite. It was quite peculiar. It's been two weeks since I started working at the castle. I'm a little afraid. Another maid, Adela, made a mistake and Miss Daniela slashed her face with a knife. And at night I can hear wailing as if ghosts roam the halls. I want to go home. I don't know what to do. The ladies were complaining it was too hot and stuffy during dinner, so I opened the window just to crack. Shut it, shut it now. They all shrieked at me in unison. I fear I may be taken down into the cellar. I'm never to be seen of again. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. First person Resident Evil kind of sleepy. It's okay. It, it's it's interesting that they're still doing like the the over the shoulder stuff with the remakes, but then like they're doing kind of their own thing with this with Village. I think either way, I mean it still works regardless of whatever whatever it is, when you know whatever the case is. I can't think of any like triple A first person horror game that's kind of like this. Right? I mean they have they have games, you know, they have like other horror games, some are like multiplayer even, but there's not many games like this that still come out that are, you know, that are in the, in the same category as Resident Evil. I can't even think of any survival horror games that are still like, you know, triple A survival horror. 
I don't know, I hear footsteps and I'm like, are they mine? The game does still look visually- oh, somebody. I have to act like this is the first time I'm doing this. I literally just did this. <laughs> What? Where is everybody? I feel like th this is the type of game where like the faces will start to move or some shit. Like this. Isn't that cool? Well, I already know the puzzle for that one. I think there was like a room over here, but I, I didn't think that there was any like key for it. I only got a courtyard key past this point. And I can't really see anything through there. But yeah, I mean, this is a direct continuation re from Resident Evil 7. So, like... <laughs> creepy laughing. These are, like, the clothes I'm wearing. Oh, that means they burned someone, or killed someone and burned their clothes. If you know somebody named Dandora, then that's pretty cool. Don't think there was anything in here. Okay. When's Dark Souls 1? You're just gonna come into my stream every time asking that. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let you know this. I'll let you know this, Alan. Dark Souls 1 is not gonna be until after... Um... At least until after Yakuza 0. Um... Yakuza 0 and, uh... Persona 5 Royale and um, uh, Strikers. And probably dancing, honestly. Dark Souls 1 is not going to be for a while. And then after that, I got to gear up for the Sonic Marathon again. There she is. Yes, they are vampires, by the way. That was uh, told to us in the little showcase they did today. Which I wasn't able to watch because I was at work, but, you know, same thing still applies. So you gotta do that to get this. Put this in here. I unlocked it. Well, that's cool. Oh, I didn't read this before. Winemaking techniques can be traced as far back as 15th century, long before the current occupants of the castle. Alicina Dimitris. I can't pronounce that. Legendary yet peculiar technique to enrich the wine's flavor and intensity, best out with a thick bouquet. Her best vintage is Sanguis Ver Verginis. No, it's not how you say that. I already know that's it's a, it's a joke. Maiden's blood. It is kept in a special ornate bottle decorated with intricate silver flowers. Well, that's cool. Is that one of these? Oh, you can actually read the labels. Look at that. You can read the labels on those. So high quality. Oh. No, I, I did get that last time. Obviously, I, you need that to progress. Can I escape through the window? I'm watching you. <laughs> oh shit. I won't last until dinner. This fucking crazy bitch. <laughs> fucking run away. <laughs> oh shit. Yes. 
What the fuck? No! <laughs> Wait a minute, she's chasing. No! <laughs> Wait a minute, no, dude. She didn't do that before. She didn't do it more than once. No, get up! Fuck away! Get away! Get the fuck away from me, bitch! No! Oh, I'm so thirsty. So we finally meet. <laughs> Freddy Krueger. <laughs> oh, man. That was pretty funny. And that's it. That's literally the demo. I did that one in like 16 minutes. Or something like that. Less than 20 minutes, yeah. Do they not give you weapons in these new Resident Evil games? Not in the, not when you're when you're playing the demo, man. Come on. You know that. Milky mommy. Everybody yeah, everybody's like obsessing over that like vampire bitch. I don't understand why. You don't know that? Yeah. Well, have you you I assume you haven't played a Resident Evil game before then. Um, yes, they do give you Resident Evil, or I mean, they do give you weapons in the new Resident Evils. Booba? No, not Booba. There was, okay, she did, she did have kind of a thick chest. But that's okay, right? It doesn't matter. Kill her the fuck. <laughs> Chomp. But yeah, that's it. That's the game, that's the demo. It's literally, it's super, super short. Like, this is not a Square Enix demo. It, this is... This is not a Square Enix demo. You do, you are not getting uh you're not getting like the first chapter or something. Which actually I'm very much looking forward to the Balin Wonderland demo, which should be coming out in next week, I think. Um Balin Wonderland is a new game from uh from um uh Yuji Naka, also known as the cr the creator programmer of Sonic the Hedgehog. So, of course, I'm very excited for that. It's supposed to be a spiritual successor to Nights Into Dreams, which is a very good game. But yeah, that's it. That's that's the demo. There's not really much to say about it. It, it does look cool. Um, I'm, in, I'm intrigued to play the game. It definitely looks like it's going to be pretty freaky. Uh, I did like Resident Evil 7 a lot. Um, yeah, I thought it was a pretty fun game. Uh, it was also pretty freaky as well. I think the only bad parts about Resident Evil 7 were, were the DLC. Because the DLC was, like, stupid. <laughs> it's like, it, one of the DLCs was just a first-person shooter. Horror streams are fun. I'll do that. I'll probably do the earlier Resident Evil games, too. Maybe at some point, I don't know. I still want to finish playing through Resident Evil 2, the remake, because I never really finished that one. Um, I didn't like finish it fully. I think I did. Cl I did Leon A, Claire B, which I think is that that's it, right? Like, but I never did Claire A, Leon B, so I'm not really sure how that goes. And I never played the Resident Evil Three remake, but I heard that wasn't as great. And also, it's really short. It was like six hours or something. I heard, which kind of sucks. It was like a sixty dollar game. But yeah, that's. Again, I played the demo twice in a row now. Um, it's fine. It's fine. There's not really much to do. This is definitely not a Square Enix demo where they give you, like, for an RPG, they give you, like, the first chapter of the game, and then you can, like, um, port your save data over to, like, the new, um, to, like, the new, uh, the, the, the game, like, when you buy it. It's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, since I, since I was, uh, since I already have my PS5 booted up, I was just thinking just to go and just, you know, st start a Persona 5 Royale again. Um, cause I, obviously I was saying I need to do that. <laughs> I need to play some Persona 5.